Yesterday, we discussed the recognition of cardiac arrest and why early CPR and activation of the emergency response system is critical for survival. Remember to call 911 early or direct someone else to do so. Recall the four components of high quality CPR, depth, recoil, rate, and minimal interruption. All of these increase the likelihood of a victim to receive and respond well to electrical defibrillation. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. We know from resuscitation science that the earlier a shock is delivered, the increased likelihood that it will restart the heart of a person with cardiac arrest. AEDs, or Automated External Defibrillators, are one way of ensuring that victims of cardiac arrest receive an electrical shock as soon as possible. Many public facilities, such as schools, malls, churches, airports, have AEDs available for public use. Your school has one or more AEDs available for use, and it is important that everyone be familiar with its location and know how to use it. In addition, it is important to notify the appropriate individuals if you notice that the AED has been tampered with or is missing. It is critical that the device operates and is available when it is needed. You already know how to perform high quality CPR. After today, you will know how to pair that CPR training with the use of an AED. Each of you will have an opportunity to become familiar with an AED, how to apply the chest patches, and how to deliver a life-saving shock, all while performing high-quality CPR. This requires teamwork to maximize the resuscitation effort, but it can be done by a single individual as well. An automated external defibrillator, AED, is a smart machine designed to detect whether a cardiac arrest victim would benefit from a defibrillation shock and to instruct the operator to perform all facets of treating the victim until paramedics arrive. An AED is simple and safe to use. The ultimate therapy for these patients is electricity. But what you do with good cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, hands-only CPR specifically if you're a citizen responder, is um, you prolong that period of time during which a person's heart will be responsive to the electricity. The heart is much like any other highly efficient machine. It has an electrical system that tells the heart to pump and a mechanical system that responds by pumping. The AED is designed to analyze the heart rhythm and allow a shock delivered to those patients whose electrical system is malfunctioning in a rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation is an arrhythmia in which the lower chambers of the heart, the ventricles, are just quivering. It doesn't mean they're weak, but electrically they become more or less dissociated with one another such that the muscle of the heart itself is just quivering and can't generate a good forceful contraction. By delivering a shock, this chaos is stopped so the heart's natural pacemaker can resume a regular rhythm, once again pumping blood around the body. Successful defibrillation diminishes rapidly over time. If the victim is not in ventricular fibrillation, the AED will instruct you to perform CPR. The AED instructs you every step of the way. One, turn the AED on. Place the AED by the person's shoulder and turn it on. Two, follow the AED instructions. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. The AED will talk to you and tell you to attach the pads to the bare chest. It will tell you if and when you have to press the shock button. Don't touch patient. Analyze. Do not touch the person when the AED is analyzing the heart rhythm and do not touch the person if and when you press the shock button. AEDs will not allow a shock unless it detects ventricular fibrillation. You cannot make it shock any other time. You cannot harm the victim in any way. The only possible danger is if, one, you are sharing water with the victim. If the victim is in a puddle of water, move them to a dry area. You don't want your knees in the victim's puddle of water. Water conducts electricity. Two, you are sharing metal with the victim. 
Just make sure the patient is not touching any kind of metal. Metal conducts electricity. Three, make sure no one is touching the patient when a shock is delivered. Always visually confirm this before pushing the shock button. AEDs will cue rescuers to stand clear when a shock is advised. Four, do not use an AED on anyone under eight years old. Cardiac arrest can occur at any time. It is important that witnesses of cardiac arrest respond immediately and without delay. Any unnecessary delay decreases a victim's chance for survival. Remember the key components to a successful resuscitation. One, early activation of the emergency response system, 911. Two, high quality CPR. A, depth, two inches. B, full chest recoil. C, rate of 100 compressions per minute. D, minimal interruption. Three, early defibrillation. This life-saving training is easy to use and pass along. Please share this message with your friends and family or encourage them to read more about it at www.aha.org. If you have any questions regarding this training, do not hesitate to contact your local EMS providers.